I don't care what anybody said. And if they haven't told you, you need to know this. It is very important. You must. Like to treat my feet. Finest leather and rubber. Another one like me. I promise you there's no other. Keep the swoosh and the stripes. Alligator and ostrich. Shoot game on point. So every day I got options. Fresh starts from my feet. Then I work my way up. Welcome back YouTube to another episode of Sneaker Adventures. I am your host with the most, the one man click just in case you didn't know and if you're new to the channel, I need y'all to do me a big favor. Hit like, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification bell so you can be notified first when I drop new content. And uh, yeah, today we're talking about the one thing you must do, you must do if you are gonna get used sneakers or when you get used sneakers. So if you wanna see more of that, Stay tuned. Now, if you if you're familiar with the channel, and if you're familiar with the sne the series Sneaker Adventures, you know that I'm a I'm not a I'm, well. You can't say I'm like a fan of it. I like to I like to, I like to find sneakers that are you know in thrift stores or flea markets or you know places where you wouldn't normally find them and like garage sales and things like that. And you know, probably 95% of the time they're used. And some people don't like getting used sneakers to each their own. Me, I don't mind it so much because I get a new shoe because it's new to me. A unique one because usually they don't make them anymore. There was a limited run or it was a custom, something like that. So it's unique, you know what I'm saying? And the most important thing, I get it at a fraction of the price that it would cost when it's new. So to each their own on that part, that'll be a whole nother video. But uh, one thing that I do stress a lot, you know what I'm saying, when you're getting used sneakers, because you don't know who wore them before you, you don't know if they had any like fungus or anything like that with their shoes. So that's kind of like something that turns people off, but there's, you know, there's precautions for that. You know what I'm saying? And this is the one thing that I like, if, I, if, if, if you don't know, now you know, and I would recommend that you do is deodorize and clean your kicks before you even wear them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is not a sponsored video. So we're gonna go with a uh, spray sprayzy. This is 100% all natural. You know what I'm saying? And I found this on, I found this online. You know what I'm saying? But cause there's, there's a whole bunch of different vi varieties of deodorizers and you know, stuff like that that you can get for your sneakers. But the two things that I do personally is before, before I even wear the shoe or anything like that, I get one of those, uh, downy or any any dryer sheet that you have and what i do is get the sneaker you know what i'm saying make sure your laces are off okay make sure your laces are off peel back the tongue put a couple dryer sheets in there leave them outside if, if you can leave them outside in a shaded area where it's not going to get really hot or anything like that's going to bother them you know a good few hours you know five six hours if you can you know what i'm saying that's the one thing the first thing you should do you know what I'm saying? Cause that gets out a lot of the odor that's already in there and all that. So that's a good step for one, okay? But then you hit it with the spray easy. You know what I'm saying? That works for shoes, feet, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shoe, shoe deodorizer. You hit it with this, all right? And that's what I'm saying. You gotta make sure your laces are off cause you gotta make sure you get the whole shoe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give you an example, you know what I'm saying? All it takes is two, three sprays, you're good. Cover it up, put it away, and leave it overnight. You know what I'm saying? The longer, the better. And after that, you should be pretty good to go. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, depending on the shoe that you get, you'll know if it's been worn a lot or not. But it's always good to have the precaution to do this. You know what I mean? Now, that's that's the, the one thing I recommend a lot when you get new shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is just a little quick tip. A little, 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 little something, something for y'all just in case y'all didn't know. But we will be getting into a lot more other kind of sneaker, you know, videos. If there's something you guys would like me to cover, something y'all would like me to review, or, you know, any questions y'all may have sneaker related, you know, you want to see on the, on, the, on the channel, type them down in the comments below. And I'll get back to y'all as much as I can, man. And we'll see what we got, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of ideas already out there. I got a lot of content already filled. But we got we can always use some more. So you got anything? Type it down in the comment, you know, in the comment section below. Uh, this is it for this video, man. I appreciate y'all's continued support. Like I said, this is a spray easy, deodorize, clean your kicks before you wear them to be on the healthy and the and the safe side. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to treat your feet 
okay so but that's it for this video uh if you're new to the channel like i said subscribe to the channel hit that like button smash that notification bell so you can be notified first when i drop new content and make sure you follow me on social media all the links in the description below as always you can follow me on instagram right there and uh yeah you can follow me there for all my content that i don't post on youtube or sneak peeks and all that good stuff so follow me on instagram and uh that's it for this video man i appreciate just continued support and i'll see you on the next one